about that. I have been just just busy. I don't know. It just hasn't worked out to make a video on the weekends and I don't really have time during the week. So um, yeah, but it is what it is. So um, I started a new job. Uh, I got moved positions. So that's been really interesting. It's been good actually. I've, I'm really enjoying it there. I've worked with some really lovely people and um, it's keeping me busy. So it's good. And yeah, kids are kids and just doing, just doing the everyday normal stuff. So um, I think this is my fourth, fourth floss tube video, I think. And um, I know it's been a while because I think I started in April. So it's September now and I've only done four. So I think this is probably for now, the sort of, it's going to be a couple of months between each video. I just think that's the way it's going to be. But um, I'll get into all of the cross stitch now and I have a finish. So. Um, I have finished the Chatelaine workshop number two, rice stitches. I'll insert a picture here of where it's, what it's supposed to look like, like the mock-up and um, where I was up to last time. I'll put a little clip in of that. There we go. So there it is, ta-da! All finished, all beaded. Let's see if I can get some of that the bead sparkle for you. So I'd, I'd finished, last time you saw it, I'd finished all of the stitching, all of the specialty stitches and all the stitching. I just had the beading to go. And that was only really a, a few nights. I mean, probably one night for a lot of people, but there's beading along here, all around the outside, and then there's some beads sort of just randomly through all of the center part, and then obviously some of these bigger ones, bicones I think they're called, maybe, and this big crystal in the center. So it's finished. So that one was, that one was really fun. I enjoyed the rice stitches a lot. I think they were easier than the Jessica stitches I did. I actually brought that one so you could see both of them together in the series. So let me just get rid of that pen. So this was the first one. That was the first one. That was the Jessica stitches, just to see it. And which way am I going? Sorry. I'm a bit fiddly today. Here is the, oops. Can I do them both at once? I don't know if I can. Let's see. Let's see how well I can do. There we go. There we go. There's both of them together. So yeah. The Jessica stitches I found a little bit fiddlier. I think it was just, it, they got a bit built up and it was hard to see the holes sometimes. Whereas the rice stitches didn't do that so much. Let me just throw them down there. And 
when I when I finish projects, I store them. Um, excuse me, sorry. I just duck down right in front of you there. Um, when I store projects, I store them in tissue paper in a box, in a cardboard box. Uh, it's not an acid-free box. They were just too expensive here to try and find one. So it's just a box. And um, and that's where I keep them. So, yeah. Um, so that's my finish. So, yay, hurrah. First finished for, is it? I don't know. First finished for this year? I think it is. And it's August. So that's pretty sad. But that's the way it goes. Next, I have... The uh, Heaven Earth Designs uh, Christmas stocking, stocking by, this is Whips now, uh, Pinky, Pink, Pink Me, I think it is, I can't say it, um, Miles, Pink, Pink Me, uh, and this one, I actually joined the uh, Heaven and Earth Design, or the Heaven and Earth what was it called? The 100 Day Challenge by uh, Porsche. And I joined that, but I had to, it was just before day 50. I didn't, I didn't make it any longer than that. So the, the challenge was that you had to stitch at least one stitch every day. And I managed to, to do it, but most of the time I was just getting up finding a time throughout the day, grabbing it, putting in one stitch, and then packing it away again. Because I just didn't have time to do any more than that with other stuff going on. So, uh, I haven't actually got a lot of progress on this, considering that I stitched on it for almost 50 days. Most It was mostly about 50 stitches, to be honest with you. There were a couple of days where I got in more. Um, but it wasn't a lot. So I don't have a huge amount of progress here. I will insert a picture of what it's supposed to look like and where I was up to. I'll put a little clip of where I was up to in here. that I only got this done here which I'll just zoom in for you isn't really a whole lot I actually started trying to do diagonal stitching along here and I, I was a mess I just I think the problem was this here along 10 rows there's probably like eight colors along here and that's what I started with and I think that was a mistake so I Went back to cross country on here, which I think I'll probably just finish this project cross country to be completely honest. And you can sort of see the stocking shape coming out in the heel there. So that's pretty exciting. So it's starting to look a little bit like a stocking because people still, if you look at it, you sort of, when it just finished here, I think it confused people. So there it is in all its glory. Heaven Earth Designs. It's been a long time doing this one, but it's turning out so lovely. I'm really happy with it. Oops, sorry. I'm a bit clumsy. Probably couldn't hear that because I whispered it. I don't know why, but I said I'm a bit clumsy today. <laughs> what would I whisper it? Oh, another one here. My son's been um, unwell again. It's just that first year of daycare. They start picking up everything. But this one was a little bit scary because he got all these spots on him. And they came up really fast. And I took him to the doctor... Um, so I picked him up from daycare on Friday last week and I got him to the, and, um, sorry, I picked him up from daycare and he had some spots on his cheek 
And he gets eczema, and I thought it was just like a flare up because he flares up on his cheeks a lot with eczema. So uh, I thought it was just that, and then the next morning he sort of had it all over his face, and I was I was like, well, what's this? So I took him to the doctor, and we couldn't get into our normal doctor because it was a Saturday and it was last minute. And they, I don't know if you want to hear these stories, comment below if you just want to see the cross stitching. But they said it, the doctor said it was, he said, oh, if it's an allergy, I'll give you an antihistamine. If it's eczema, here's a steroid cream mixed with a yeast, is it yeast infection or something? I can't remember. Some other cream mixed in together. In case it's that. And then he goes, oh, and it could be a virus. I'm like, you have no idea what it is. And then the next morning, it had spread. And it had spread. It was really bad on his face. It was all over his arms. It was all over his legs. He was so itchy. And I was, if I couldn't get him in to see a different doctor, I was going to take him to the hospital. And the doctor came in and he said it was a staph infection. Like I got a doctor to actually, like a home visit doctor to come over. And he said it was a staph infection and he had to be on antibiotics and stuff. So I was a bit annoyed. Oops, I left something out. I was a bit annoyed that we've been given all these creams. And I don't know if putting a steroid cream on a staph infection is a bad thing to do. Is it going to make the staph infection stronger? I don't know. I don't know how all that works. So that was a little bit scary. So he's had the whole week off, like the whole next week off. He's still off. And I have to take him into the doctor again on Monday to see if he's cleared again to go. So he was pretty miserable because he was really itchy. So he was just miserable. So it's been it's been a, a long week. So my husband's just outside playing with him so I can do this quickly. Um, now, next whip, office, sweet office. Sorry. Random tangent there, but that was just my last week, so it was a bit intense. Um, office Sweet Office. Now, this is by Stitch Rovia on Etsy. Um, I'll insert a picture here of... Oops, I'm so, I'm so clumsy. I'll insert a picture here of what it is going to look like and where I was up to last time so I'll do that here and let me just get it out of its Q snap so you can see it so when I, I think on my last video, I said that I hadn't been able to get to work on this very much because work had gotten really crazy. It was weird. It was, um, and when I moved jobs, again, I was learning a new job. So I was sort of working through most of my lunches, but now I've sort of gotten into a swing of things. Sorry, I've just gotten a cord on something. It's bugging me. Now I've gotten into the swing of things. I am happy to say I'm actually being able to stitch on this. The other thing is too, I've been tired. And um, I haven't had the energy to pull other stuff out really. So, here it is. So I think last time you saw it, I'd done sweet and I've started this O I think I'm not I'm not 100 percent so I've fit I've almost finished office so I've got a little bit of green just to finish that off there the green around the C and the E and then I'll probably start on the border down here because I've still got my space down here probably start on the border down there and then I'll move the Q step and work my way up and do the border up and office and then the top of the border. It's probably my plan. So this is, I don't know if it's showing up very well, but this is really sparkly, this material. I don't think it is. Can you see it? Maybe there. So it's got like a gold sparkle in it. And I think when I first started it, I said that apparently it wasn't very popular because 
it threw off people's eyes and I have to say at first I agreed but I've gotten used to it really quickly so I don't find it difficult to stitch on at all now I mean I have glasses I wear glasses when I stitch on it generally excuse me if I remember but um that's that office sweet office so hopefully they'll have a little bit more progress a little quicker um, than it has been because one I've been pulling it out at home a little bit just because it's something easy that I can pull out I don't have to set up I can stitch on stitch in hand really easily with this one so if I'm just too tired and I just want to watch some Netflix in the evening most of the time I fall asleep to be honest lately like at 7 30 every night um, but if I don't and I just have half an hour or an hour or something and I'm just watching TV or whatever I've been getting that one out and just putting in a few stitches and I've been able to do it at lunchtime and I've had a whole heap of appointments too so waiting room so I've been able to do that um, I showed the stocking already, so I have a new start. So and it's not the new start. It's not the new start that I said that I was gonna have. I said that I was gonna do that. Uh, my words, it's terrible, isn't it? That custom, custom one with myself and my daughter. I was gonna start that. I haven't started it. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just I think it's because it's big. It's the same with the stitch along. I really want to get it out. I love that stitch along and I keep thinking about it and then I end up getting something out I can do in hand because I just one of the things I've noticed is if I get cross stitching out and set myself up with my stand and everything my son will wake up every single time every single night and I'll end up spending at least an hour and a half throughout the night like throughout the evening that I should, would have been stitching trying to put him back to sleep it happened again last night so I got him to sleep 8.30 he woke up was it 8.30 or 9 o'clock I mean 8.30 or 8 o'clock something like that 8, 8.30 and it was like after 9.30 when I finally got him back to sleep and I would come out and I'd sit down and I'd go to stitch again and he'd wake up again and I'd go back in 20 minutes come back out so, I don't know, sometimes I get a bit discouraged getting everything out, I think, too, because I feel like he's just going to wake up if I do. But I do have a new start, and it's comfort. So, I'll insert a picture here. It's um, the Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh, I'm terrible. I can't remember the designer. I'll, I'll put it in there. But um, comfort. And um, I started that in August, mid-August. I wanted to start it early August, but it didn't happen. And I do have threads going. I might just pull that baby out everywhere. So this one, I actually started, I watched Blitz Stitch, and there was a link. Who was it? I'll put the link below as well. What's the name? I'm terrible. Mm, can I look it up? No, I don't think I can. Um, so, oh my gosh. I've been watching um, Tash, the Star Cross Stitcher today. I'm really behind on Flosh too. I really, I don't think I even have any shout outs because I've just been watching the same people. But anyway, I, um, gosh, I'm rambling today. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I watched uh, the tutorials on diagonal stitching and I'm stitching this one. I don't know if it's because I'm doing it um, two, uh, three over two on 28 count or whether my tension is too tight because I do think I have quite tight tension or what it is. But I feel like I'm getting diagonal lines. So um, I started trying to do the diagonal stitching and I'm actually going to do a video if if people even are interested like if you are let me know but <clears throat> I'm going to do a um, a video maybe on how I'm not getting the lines if I can get rid of them so I don't know if this is going to come out whether it's going to bug me enough it's not 
super obvious. I mean, I took a photo and I posted it on Facebook and the majority of people said they couldn't see anything and just to keep stitching and it looked lovely, which is such a lovely community. But here it is. So if you can see any diagonal lines, because I keep asking my husband, please tell me, because I really, I feel like I can. Let me get some paper pens. So this is huge. This is a 42 by 53 inch piece of fabric I got from Crafty Kitten. It's 28 count uh, Jobelin weave and weave. Should have been telling you what everything else was. I put it I put it all in the comments below but this is a stitched three over two on 28 count and what I was doing is I was stitching if you can see diagonal lines please let me know but I feel like there's diagonal lines in here and I feel like I can feel them so what I was doing was I did a whole bunch so about here I think I posted something on Facebook and said can you see any lines and everyone said well, not everyone, but mostly everyone said no. There were a couple of people that thought they could see them. Um, so then I switched it up. This was the first row. I sort of switched it up right there. So that I was going straight. And then I started like staggering my stitching sort of thing to do, to try and get rid of the lines. I wonder if I can find an angle. Mm, can you see anything? No, I don't know. If you can, I'm interested to know. And I think that that has made a difference. I do. But I'm going to try one more technique incorporating that. And then I'll do a video and I'll show everyone the way I was doing it where I felt like I was getting lines. And I'll try and get some photos so you can see as well for the video. Um, where I felt I was getting lines. How... When, when I change it to the next technique and then the next one. And hopefully between now and whenever I sort it, I'll, I'll wait until I've sorted it out and I'll probably be close to half, like half a page finish um, before I do a video just so I can nut it out. Because I know that like Blitz Stitch doesn't get lines. Um, and he, I mean, excuse me, I've got indigestion. He stitches over two as well. So I think it might be a tension issue on my part or just the way I'm doing it. I'm not sure. But I stitch across. So that might be another thing. I haven't been stitching up and down. I just find across has been working better for me. So. And I've got threads everywhere. So I'm obviously parking while I do this. And I use these little needle minders to hold back. Hold back the threads. But I sort of packed this up in a rush last night because last night I was trying to do some stitching and I also made a Q-snap cover now this, I made it uneven because I had so much fabric so much fabric like you can see it's sort of all bulked up and pressed in and all that sort of stuff and my page goes all the way down to there that's the, that's, there's the back of my work if you want to see, see, see that see how it's staggered now and, and it's not as obvious I started staggering I think not that maybe here I started staggering but this is causing me grief I'm sure of it so I don't know if all this is going to get ripped out or whether it's possible that I'm going to keep it in there as a room not just as a reminder but this is the journey of this of this stitching piece you know what I mean this is its journey. This is how it's evolved. And because this piece is particularly special to me, I don't really want to rip it out. And normally I like my stitching to be pretty, not perfect, because it's never perfect, but I try and get it as, as nice as I can. But I feel like this one represents some of the imperfections in life, not just, um, not just when everything goes perfectly for you. If you know what I mean, I don't know if you do. I'm being a bit cryptic. Uh, so yeah, I'm just getting. I can't really. My my camera doesn't like focusing close. So that's that. That's comfort. I've gotten a good chunk done. Um, so it's been it's it's been really rewarding, and I love stitching this way. 
which is why I don't want to go back to cross country on this one because I'm really enjoying it. So, and, and it's only had about four colors ish in each little row that I'm doing like 10, 10 line row ish. So I've been able to actually learn and, and teach it and get used to stitching that particular way as opposed to when I tried to do it on the Christmas stocking and it was just too much. It was too much for me. So that's been good. So I'll just plop this up there. <sighs> All right. And the only reason I have any progress is because it's been so long <laughs> since, since I filmed. Um, just looking at my notes so I don't forget stuff. I have another whip and this one this one's taking me a really long time to do it's not the cross stitching is finished I've shown it before it's that quilt that I'm making for my daughter and it's the first quilt I've ever made so I've been I'm used to making bags and things and I found quilting to be quite different to that uh, and I'm up to assembling now and it's just taking me, it's just being a bit, little bit fiddly for me because I don't think I've been perfect when I've sewn some of my squares together previously. My, my quarter inch seam, when I sewed it, when I measured it, I was sewing at a quarter inch. And when I unfolded it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I'll show you. So these, here it is, I'll show you first. So it's only partly done, obviously. Oops. So that's it there. So I've still got another couple of rows here and then the same again up the top and then I've got an outside border to do and then I'm just going to quilt it like a, in the ditch. That's what I'm going to do. Probably just along the outside of the squares, just in the ditch. So, I mean, it's I, I'm happy with it for a first attempt at quilting, but I think what happened was... <laughs> When I was quilting this square and I was sewing these pieces together, I'd measured it out perfectly so that it would fit into this that I'd already sewn, like put in there on the border, and that all of these would match up as well. But because when I sewed the quarter inch in, it, when I took it out and ironed it, it was less, I mean, it was more than a quarter inch that I'd lost in my seams. So it was weird. I went and spoke to someone at um, one of our, sh our stores at Spotlight. They had like a quilters group in and I asked them about it and they, they said that happens. He's coming inside. Yeah. No, he's just he's been outside playing with his dad, so he's obviously wants something inside. Okay. Yeah. My phone shut down. <laughs> My phone shut down. They've gone back outside. I've got it started up again. So I don't know if you've moved significantly because I had to take it down. What was I saying? This the 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 issues I was having with the seams. So I think this became smaller. This became smaller than it was supposed to be overall. And it threw out everything else. And, um, sorry, it threw out everything else. So it's just been a bit of a mess for me, just trying to make sure everything lines up and sewing it and checking it and sewing it and checking it and just measuring everything again and just making sure it all, because it took me a while to get this to line up properly. And I've still, I've got this one to do too. So that's going to take me a while. So anyway, I think it's looking really good. I was going to do some sort of design in here, like a back stitching design somehow. I haven't worked out how I'm going to do that, but I'm going to chart it up. And just once I've gotten the whole thing sewn together probably, and I can see how it's going to look, I'll probably just do some light back stitching. Or I might just sew like um, freehand sew. A little design in there I'm not sure yet but I was thinking it needs a little something back stitch just in the corners maybe 
if you know what I mean. And then that, I don't know when it's going to get done. It'll be done before her birthday next year. So I'll either give it to her for Christmas. I don't like my chances. It's possible. I mean, it's only September, but maybe for Christmas. Let's aim for Christmas and see how we go. Um, so that's all my whips. Yes. Purchases. Um, I have some charts and some fabric and a needle minder that I forgot to show way back. I don't. I, I started using this one and I put it in my, my, one of my bags that I use to keep all of my stuff. And it just got left in there. And then every time I pulled it out to use it, I'm like, oh, I never showed anyone that. So, here is Clay by Kim again. It's one of the ones I got a while back. There we go. So you can see the background of what I'm using. Uh, So he's a little like, um, he's got a little coin in there with some little Chinese symbols on it. And he's green. And he's, what was he called? Ginkgo leaf? Ginkgo leaf, I think. Let me see. Because I can just find him in my previous purchases. I have so much stuff in my cart that I want to buy on Etsy. So when did I buy this little guy? Sorry. Disorganized. Ginkgo. Yeah, Ginkgo Leaf Dragon with a lucky coin magnet sewing needle. Back in April. Back in April. Would have taken me a while to get it. Yeah, 19th of April. Maybe I started videos before that. He's cute. So I've been using him a lot because I really like him. Sweet little dragon. Um, so there's him. So I thought you, you should all get to see him because I forgot to show you. Um, the other purchases I had, I'll do the charts first. Put this down. I'll use this one that I've been using as backing paper. So um, Pinky, Pinky the Pink does Disney Princesses. And there's a set, let me just find them. There's a set that, um, I only bought this the other day, like on the 2nd of September, that came, she does them in sets and they're limited editions and they've got a signature on them. But, um, I think they were, they were $80 and they've been going up in price. I, I, I think they've been going up in price. I feel like they have. And I've just had them in my cart for so long. And then she announced that she was doing like a Labor Day sale. And so I jumped on there and I snapped up the two charts, the two sets that I still needed. So I needed set five, which is this one, which is Snow White, Jasmine and Jane. Aren't they pretty? I loved Snow White. And I needed the whole set because it's Disney and I love Disney. So, Jasmine's pretty cool too, isn't she? And Jane's very dapper. So, Snow White's so pretty. So I got them. So they were 25% off the whole set, which is a little bit, the set is a little bit cheaper than buying them all separately. My phone went in slow motion. Again, probably haven't been doing that. This is the other set, and this is uh, Megra, Cinderella, and Pocahontas. So I love Pocahontas and Megra. Cinderella's pretty cool too. Look at the flowers on her dress and the cut of it. So um, they're they're actually the original arts by Hannah Hannah Alexander Alexander Alexander. Um, 
So she's gotten permission to chart them off her original artwork. And she does such, she does, um, it's beautiful. The artwork's beautiful, obviously. And there's, I think, there was a Jax, Jack Skeleton I saw that might be coming out eventually. That'd be so cool. He's cool. But the dresses are just, they're very, they're not what you would expect from the movie, but they're so obviously those characters. It's really clever, the way that they're done. So, I mean, like Cinderella, nothing, nothing like that giant gown that you see in all the movies that she ends up having, in most of the movies. And Pocahontas, it's fabulous. It's just fabulous. So, I got both of those sets, so that was quite a fork out, but it was definitely worth it because I've been wanting them for so long, and they're limited edition. So, there's only 50 of them, like 50 sets that she does, I believe. And then... She has to get permission to redo them. And I think she has gotten permission to redo them, but I'm just not confident that that will stop, if you know what I mean. Um, so the other purchase I've, I've also had my eye on for a really long time is Barbara Anna Designs. I got four of her charts. Um, so I got this little one first. Isn't she cool? So, um, I can't say her name right. Frida? The artist? You know the, the artist that does the self-portraits? As soon as I saw her, I knew who she was, but I just don't, I don't know how to say her name properly. So she does all the self-portraits, and it's very, she's got a very distinctive artwork. I remember learning about her in high school. That's why I know her, because I learned about her in high school, but... She's cool. I love her son, how that's done. She's just cool. So I got her, and then I got the Snooty Parrots sampler. I loved this one. I loved the verse. No glory I covert, no riches I want. Ambition is nothing to me. The one thing I beg of kind, one thing I beg of kind, heaven to grant, is a mind independent and free. just cool so oh, that one and they're all PDFs because I bought them online just going places sometimes is just hard work uh, Portuguese bird sampler isn't this one cool I, I'm pretty certain um, Emily's working on this from Eclectic Possessions um, congratulations to Emily for the new house too. It's pretty exciting. So, there's that one. This one's got a cool quote too. Tell me, ye knowing and discerning few, where I may find a friend, a friend both firm and true, who dares stand by me when I'm in deep distress, and then when his love and friendship most express. Cool birds. I like these birds here. I love these birds. <laughs> Make me smile. There's cool colours in this one. Honestly, I don't. I definitely keep the colours pretty closely charted, to be honest. Emily's probably changed hers. I don't know if she did. Hers is looking really good. And of course, wanted this one for ages. All creatures great and small. I will probably change the verse in this too. I'm not sure what I'll change it to. But I'm not sure. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. I, mean, I don't hate the verse. I have a problem with the verse. But I think I'll change it. It's pretty cool. I think this one is one of those ones that is just going to look fabulous when it's all stitched up. And there's a piece of fabric. I'll have to check the dimensions before I order it. I think it'll look really good on this. And I was going to order it anyway, so I'll just make sure I make 
get I make sure it's big enough. I'm gonna do I'm think I'm gonna do 40 count for this one. That's what I want to do. So I've just gotta get the dimensions and double check before I get them. Alright, uh last but not least is my fabric purchases. Nearly, not all, but nearly all of my fabric I get from Crafty Kitten in the UK. Um Dawn does them. And I've got uh, fabrics by Stephanie too. Her fabrics are lovely. And I'm sure I really want some Picture This Plus. I think I've said that before. I haven't gotten any Picture This Plus yet. Because they look really good. But Crafty Kitten, her postage isn't extreme to get to Australia. It's £3.50. Three something like that. Which is about $7 to get to Australia. And that's like no matter how much. Well, I, I think I've never gone over. I've never had to pay more than that for the fabric that I've ordered. It's all because it's fabric. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Whereas when I order things from like one, two, three stitch or even um, fabrics by Stephanie to get to Australia, it was it was more than that. And her customer service is brilliant. She's just lovely, lovely person. Um, lovely to work with. Love like lovely to to deal with. Lovely to purchase off. Um, it's wonderful um so this is this was she does facebook sales and um basically she has seconds so sometimes there's issues with them and on the facebook sale she has stuff and she says this is not a second this is just an extra piece of fabric that i have um and she puts the price up and then you like say me please on the comments of each picture of the fabric that she does and then she like random number generates a winner. And I won two. And I, it's, it's taken a while to win some. I won another one recently, which is really cool. So I'll show you that when, like, when it comes. But this one, this one was nice. Um, so this is 22 count. Hardinger. It's 13 by 18. It's not a huge piece. I normally buy big or buy, like get go big or go home sort of thing. Oh, is that coming up? It's maybe a little washed out, maybe. It's pretty close. It's called Aurora. It's a second. She said what was the issue, but honestly, I can't even see it. And most of the time, when I bid on them, she'll say there's an issue about like two inches in from the outside or something. And I'm like, well, I leave a big enough water that that's not going to make a difference for me, really. I mean, that's that's pretty close to just being on the edge of where you frame it. This one's really nice. I have no idea what I'm going to stitch on it, but whatever it will be, it's going to be beautiful because that fabric is gorgeous. It might be here where the issue is, maybe. She does like dye spots and stuff, like right on the edge there. It's possible it's that, but I can't even remember. I'd have to I'd have to go look at it. I certainly don't have an issue with any anything going on there. I'm going to put these back because I don't want to get them muddled. So there's going to be some crinkling through this part. Oh my god, I'm trying to do it. Okay. So that's the Aurora. Oh, so pretty. The other one I got is she does mystery boxes too, which are pretty cool. So with the mystery boxes, you pick the size fabric you want, the count, and type of fabric. And um, she'll send, it's a mystery, you don't know what colour it's going to be, but it's themed. So these ones have been themed to Disney princesses, and I've been very good that I haven't gone and bought them all. But they're themed, and then you also get like some thread and some beads and stuff to go with the theme. Like normally hand dyed thread and things, which is really cool. So this is a Brittany fabric. Um, this one's called Belle. So Beauty and the Beast was the theme, Belle. And it's an opal 28 count Brittany and it's 18 by 27. So this one's very yellow. And that is close. It's a little washed out maybe. It's probably closer on this side for the whole theme. It's washed out there. 
but when I come in, let me just. That's a bit better. A little bit better. No, it's quite washed out, isn't it? It's very yellow. Can I get in? It's even a bit yellower than that. So it's quite yellow. And it's opalescent. Pretty. It's got a very gentle mottling on it. So while it is mottled, it's not outrageous. And that's something I find with most of um, Dawn's stuff from Crafty Kitten. And while I, I don't mind, I like heavily mottled fabric, I do. Hers is generally more subtle. And I find that sometimes it just lends itself more to being able to go on more things when it's not quite as distinct. Alright. This would be one I this would be one I want as well. No, I ordered this one. I did order this one. So this one. This is Belfast Linen, 32 count, 27 by 36, like I say, go big or go home. Um, to September 2010, limited edition. And what she was doing, and she's still doing it, she's doing like throwbacks to different fabrics. And some of them are like Facebook special sort of thing. So, I thought this looked really pretty when she showed it. It's kind of pinks. Crying. Pinks and greens. I might have to hurry it up a little. Pinks and greens and stuff. It's showing up kind of grey. Oh dear, he must have fallen over. What's going on? So my light's causing issues. That's a bit better. Pinks and greens and greys sort of thing. So that one's really nice. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm saying that one. I've got two more fabrics. I'll just whiz through and show you them. I may have to pause. Sorry. Little one fell over. Go give him a cuddle. So... This one is a Facebook special, again from the Crafty Kitten, Belfast Linen Spookily in Opal, 27 by 36. Sounds pretty cool, hopefully it shows up. Oh, that's good, that's showing up nice. It's a little bit oranger, like here. It doesn't look that, like, sort of peachy colour, but it's more that peachy colour. This one's pretty Lots of ideas of what I could use for that. So there's that. That's in an opalescent as well. I don't know if the sparkle came through. All right. This is, my phone's really playing up now. It keeps freezing as I'm recording. So this is the last fabric. I'm going to try again. January 2018, limited edition, Belfast Linen, 36 by 27. It's a very um, mellow colour. Kind of purples and blues. Oh, it's not. It's basically showing up white, isn't it? Purples and blues and yellows and lots and lots of pretty colours, but they're very pale. And I don't know what to do. Try and get some light from there. not white I promise it's very pretty there you go that's kind of showing up yeah. and that's the last of the fabric and because I'm having so many technical issues and upset children and things like that I'm gonna quickly say goodbye I don't have any shout outs um, 
my only real plan is just to keep stitching on whatever I feel like and um, just progress on there when I can and um, I make that diagonal stitching video which I might need to wait until like I've got a day off in October hopefully so I'm like, I'll wait until then maybe and just do it when I don't have any kids around at all um, to worry about so yeah that's kind of silly thing to say so that's it that's all of my catch up um, I hope everyone is um, just having just good things happen in their life and they're just getting everything everything they want everything they need and um, everyone just have a really great time stitching so um, I'll see you all next time probably in a couple of months okay bye Thank you.